Hey everybody, it's me and I'm here with Deb Cole. Hello. Yes, she's an awesome <laughs> AI expert. My sister lives in Hawaii. So I'm very into the Aloha. AOA forever, yeah. Yes. I, yes. When I give my pe number, people are like, 808, I'm like, 808 forever. Forget Texas forever. 808 forever. Hawaii 808. forever. Yes, that's yeah. the zip code. She is an AI expert, and I know a lot of you want to make videos, but you don't want to either use your voice or you don't want to use your face. So I have my tips on how I make videos, but what would you say to someone that is video chicken? Because that's how I start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what's interesting? Not many people realize this because and I actually did a lot of production, but in the beginning when I first started on YouTube, and this is, by the way, one of my first videos was how to MySpace from um, Fun and Profit, and it was teaching a grandmother how to MySpace. use MySpace. MySpace. That's yes. how old I am, and that's what like, and that was the first time I ever showed my own face on a video on YouTube. The first several videos before that, I think it was like six or seven, I never showed my face and I didn't even realize it. So we were with a group of internet marketers and I just took the role of producer and I'm following around with the camera and this was like a big camcorder. It's not like these yeah, yeah, iPhones yeah, on the shoulder. Yeah. And I just basically documented, I documented, we were on a cruise with a bunch of marketers and we actually almost got stuck in Mexico. And I'm like, this has to be documented. And I filmed it and it was one of the videos that went viral. And at the time we only had thousands on YouTube, not millions, right. but it spread because it was interesting. And I'm like, this is, I have to film interesting content with interesting people. And it wasn't even me showing my face. So if you don't want to show your face, it's fine. Like interview people, you can even stand behind the camera, right? So yeah. you don't even have to, you can get tips. So like in the, we're at a conference, Expert Summit, so you can get all the board of experts get their tip. So I could be like, what's your best AI tip? And film you, vertical style right now. That's how I would su suggest start doing video without having to show your own face, film other people, interview other people. Then when you get comfortable, you sit down and we actually, you know, then you get to meet your face. Because when people meet you and they see your face and get to know you over and over again, they get to know you like you, trust you. And by the way, it's a scientific psychological fact and study backed by science and multiple studies the more you are seen all over the place, the more the person behind likes you, trusts you, and will buy from you. Yes, you become familiar. Right, exactly. so let me tell you how I exactly. got, did my first live. Well, I had to sign up for a class. <laughs> of course, that's the Then she beginning. gave us a topic, and then she said we could practice in the group. I was like, that is for wimps. It was 30 days of consistent lives on Facebook. The entire day, I worried about doing the live. Mm -hmm. Finally, at 10.30 at night, I have not kept this promise to myself. Mm -hmm. I decided I was going to do the live and I figured everyone was asleep. No one's going to see me anyway. <laughs> so I am going I to do it. the live. So Good strategy. Yes. Like, no one will be there anyway. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm it's nobody. I'm nobody yeah. who's going to see it anyways. There's no views. Mm -hmm. I just went and I did the live and it was something like something you love from childhood. Mm -hmm. She was giving us yep, prompts. prompts. Yep. So I did this live and every week for that first week, five days, I wake up in the morning going, I have to do my day two live, think about it all day, worry about it, get mm -hmm. anxiety. Mm -hmm. Finally at 10.30, I was like, well, I don't do it now. Yes. I'm going to miss out. Yes. I was so proud of myself because I was like, no one's going to see yeah. this. But I got it done. Incognito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Six months later, I go to Pakistan. All my uncles were like, you were live every single day. Oh, and they watched. That's awesome. Because I was at prime time in another country. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so much for incognito. Oh, and I great. didn't get my target audience, but I did get over the fear of making a fool out of myself on camera. So that's a good tip. Do it when nobody's watching, or at least when you think nobody's watching. It's kind of like sing in the shower like nobody's watching, do video like nobody's watching. And here's what I've said to people. One of my first presentations a long time ago to get people to do it, and I was like, Nobody cares. Nobody's watching. Just do it. And they all started laughing because it's like they're all thinking, yeah, everyone's watching. No, like, no one's watching that first one. Get it over with. Get, over, get over the jitters. Get over the how to because there's going to be tech issues. There's going to be this like, but get over it by doing it. And, and what I say is do it ugly. Just do it ugly. If you saw one of the videos that I was showing in the presentation, like one of them, I had no makeup, the same thing at night. It was and I was like, oh, I'll show about studio lighting at night. <laughs> Some t when you spin around, sometimes the lighting isn't good, the makeup, but the more people see the real you, the more they will relate because they like, I don't like my big arms. I don't like that. My face gets all like, I still break out at 53. Right. Yeah. And I, it's like, you have to get over it. And by the way, we're talking about Hawaii in the beginning. I should have a slew of footage in Hawaii. Cause that's when I started on YouTube back, way back 2006, 2005. 
I should have a slew of it, but I was so busy. And my partner at the time was like, wanted it to be perfect. It would take an entire eight hours to do one freaking video. And, and I was like, oh, I, I gotta lose weight. Oh, I, I'm getting older. So, well, guess what? You only get fatter and older. <laughs> but that's what I discovered. I was like, oh, I should have done Especially it. when you leave Hawaii, because there's yes. no more bikini bonds. Yeah. Because you don't ever have to wear. Yeah, but especially in like, Jersey. Like, we can eat all winter, and then it's like muffin top. They just get longer right. shirts. Like, like a Figure bear. Figure it out, yeah. Like a bear. We but, just, yeah. Yeah, we're only okay. going to get older. It's like, think about it. We look, young, the youngest we're ever going to look it's right today. now. is today. Because 10 years, we're going to be older. Yeah. So it's not going to get better. If older we... and wrinklier. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Until, until not we get a Botox. Not us. Not, no, us. not us. No. Not us. We don't, we don't age. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so get over it. Do it ugly. And then you start getting comfortable with it and then connect with your audience. Absolutely. And my whole thing is we have to understand that everyone has families. Everyone has crisis going on in their lives. Everyone has financial stress. Mm -hmm. Everyone has job stress. Everyone has kid stress. No one's thinking of me. Mm -hmm. No one's thinking of you. So when you're on that video and you're so worried about what will people think, my mentor told me the best mm -hmm. thing, they don't. They're not thinking about me. Right. <laughs> They're thinking about their problems and, and their life. Exactly. <laughs> no one cares about me. That's and right. so that's why I just go right. and be you. Yeah. And the more you can, you, you yeah. can be, yeah. it's going to help everything. What I would tell you, and then you put in your two cents, mm -hmm. when you get over a fear like that, you own the room. Like I can walk into any room and own the room and not wonder about what yeah. people are going to. Yes. And I will be the first one to initiate conversation because when you're the first one to initiate conversation in person, they think you're nice. Yes. <laughs> no matter what you do. It's and very you know, true. I'm not nice, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but they think you are, so but that's you all can get them. Yeah, you're right, exactly. So what, what do you true. think doing all this video and you've got the AI mm -hmm. now behind it and running mm -hmm. your business, like what has it done for you as a person? Mm. Ooh, she's oh, a good yeah. interviewer. By the oh, way, that's good. the other way. Just interview people and then let them do the time. Like, that's what yeah. Oprah did, right? Yeah. She had, yeah. you know, you interview people. I'm, well, I like what you said as far as it's not about us, it's about you, right? So that's what you've got to get in touch with what your gift, your talent is, and what is your message? What's your voice? So I find the more I share my voice and the more I don't care and get rid of the critics inside, because this is the worst. Yeah. This is like, yeah, there's critics out there, but the worst critic is right in here. That's what I always say. This is a dangerous neighborhood. Never go alone. Yes. Never go. Yeah. Bring a friend. Get That's rid a bad of them. hood. Go yes. Go yeah. to a good hood. Yeah, you go gotta to like, someone else. Yeah. You got to like beat up the bullies and get them out of the hood. Yes. You know, like <laughs> clean it out, right? But I would say couple things. One, when I first wrote my first book, I never ever needed a business card, a resume, a this, a that, a this, a that. All of a sudden, all those things in the beginning, done. Same thing once I started doing a TV show, a business channel, reels, TikTok, shorts. People just started seeing you. They saw what your advice was and, and you were just credible. So the second they wanted to hire you, it was almost an instant decision instead of a rigmarole of, oh, well, I got to see your resume. I got to do this, right? Like talk to whatever. It was no like trust. Yeah, they knew like trust and then they heard what the advice was and they said, oh, I can resonate. That girl knows what she's talking about. I'm going to hire her. So the, yep. the hiring is faster. And even if your message is the exact same message as the two of ours, mm -hmm. someone needs to see it in your body type, with your hair color, with your skin color, with your eyes, with, with your, your accent. accent. Yes, Do we, we just say accent at the yes. same time? Yes. I have an accent. Do you have no, an accent? No, you don't. I have an accent. Oh, you're, you're. Yes, because oh, I'm bilingual. This is the accent I use in the other language. Oh. And people are like, but you don't have an accent. But I'm like, if I use lose this accent, all of a sudden you do. Then, yeah, then all then of a sudden, an how will you spend? I'll talk in that language with an accent. Yes. I have to keep my accent. Interesting. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, that was like when yeah. I was talking to the guy from Jersey. All of a sudden, it's coffee and dog, <laughs> right? And all of a sudden, you're relating to that person. You so, have to translate people from New Jersey. Yes. <laughs> Opus Clip has a hard time sometimes. <laughs> when I was saying ChatGPT, it's like it thinks it's saying Chachi. I was like, okay, sure, it's Chachi. That's great. Yeah, play with the accent. And and you're absolutely right. It's there's millions of people that are just like you. There's millions of people that are just like you. Speak to those people because those are the people that will resonate with you. That might not resonate with me. Might not resonate with you. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, why. we're really a, cool people, but you know, right, we try. Yeah, we try. But yeah, that's it's a good point. You have you. Don't worry that, and by the way, I'm glad you brought that up because when I was starting a podcast, again, this is 10, 15 years ago, someone was like, someone's already doing that. And I was like, 
good. That means the proof of concept is there. There's a need. Yeah. And I think it was talking about podcasting and website development or whatever it was that I was doing at the time. I'm like, that's good. That's social proof that like, yeah, there's an audience for it. The worst, worst, because I've done a lot of firsts in my industry. Yeah. The worst is to talk about MySpace and friend feed and Twitter when nobody's on the platform. <laughs> Right, because you like at my first book, I, I like to brag about that was my worst seller because no one was talking about social media. It wasn't even a term. It was it was called new media at the time. But my third book, writing about Clubhouse, everyone was talking about Clubhouse. That was my best seller, and like almost overnight. If someone else is already talking about the topic and you're debating of whether you should talk about it too, yes, it's it's proof that it that there's interest. You, if you do research and no one's talking about it, maybe you shouldn't do that topic. You heard it here. Your first two books are going to suck, so write them anyways. Yeah. The third one's going to be a kicker. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. you just need to fail and fail yeah. hard, fail big, fail so well that mm. people talk about it <laughs> in your neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's how you should do it. Yes. The thing I really liked about what you said, mm -hmm. Deb, is women have been taught to suppress their voice. Get your voice out there. Yes. If you want to get it out on an AI clone that Deb teaches, you know, you can do it that way. If you want to get it out by a blog, get it out that mm -hmm. way. If you want to use someone else's voice to mm -hmm. say your words, but yeah. I firmly believe the reason this world has problems right now is because it's too far on the male side and the female voice of collaboration mm -hmm empathy and cooperation is being suppressed because women like us are not speaking up at home, we're not speaking up in business, and we're not speaking up in the boardroom. Mm -hmm. So the world needs your voice, whatever you have to say. Amen. Yes, 100%. Yes. All right, yes. as we wrap this up. Yeah, no, I love that you shared that. What is one advice that you wanna leave our, the key advice to all this experience <laughs> awesomeness. It doesn't matter what tool, like there's so many tools out right now. There's Be Human, A, Hey Jen, let's see, Opuscliff.io, Descript.vip, Dali. Dolly, yes, Dolly. I, I discovered it last night. I am Dolly. in love. I have not been in love in a long time. Hundred yeah. percent. It's better than men. Okay. By the way, <laughs> yeah, better. Dolly is way better than Mid Journey. So if you ever got stuck with Mid Journey, get rid of that. You don't have to learn it. It's complicated. Dolly on Bing or now ChatGPT, you can actually incorporate it. It is so easy to create graphics. So there's a ton of tools that it can help you create videos faster, easier, and more fun. That's the motto. If not, wait, because there'll be an AI app for it that will help you do it faster. But the biggest thing is sharing your voice, sharing your voice and not listening to all the critics around you that tell you you shouldn't do it for whatever reason, whether it's someone that is in your household or whether it's someone that's living in your hood up here. Get rid of that. Share your voice. Share it today. Get your first video done because it's going to be your worst video. So get it over with. Share it with us. We'll like it and we'll support you. And think about what will happen to your life a year from now if you did a video every single day. By the way, that was one of the things a buddy of mine years ago, he got his, someone broke into his house and they stole his hard drives. And I was like, okay, again, from Jersey, I go, you have three days to feel sorry for yourself. We cry. 72 hour right. pity party. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's my empathy. It extends <laughs> to three days. And then I said, on Monday, you now t need to do something to make up for all that content that was stolen. That guy's not gonna win for stealing your stuff. Right, so get it might a make video you popular. Done. Hey, maybe we all need our hard drive stolen. Maybe <laughs> it could be a technique. Okay, oh, that's good. <laughs> so he did a video. I challenged him to do a video a day for a month. That's all I. I he's, and he accepted that challenge. Five years later, every single day since that challenge, every day. So use a challenge or use something that seems like a hardship and oh, this is awful. Turn it around for the good. He then has consulting kids like Jay Abraham and other people because they saw all of the videos that he did. Once again, there wasn't this long, oh, I, I need to convince you. He was convinced because he already saw all that content. So you never know what opportunities you're missing out on if you're not getting out there on video. So seize yeah. the day, do the videos, do it ugly, and tweet us. At Absolutely. Coach Deb and, and Rena McDoom. Now, if you want my guide on how to have a millionaire's mindset, I'm gonna drop the QR code and you put in your call to action so that they can yeah. come online. Um, oh, and then if you want to monetize Reels, I'm going to give you the free book. That is a bestseller already. It's going to be digitally downloaded to your computer instantly. MonetizeReels.com. And you'll learn how to get videos. 
sure it's done faster, easier, and more fun with all of the templates and the trending audios that are in there. You can have that completely free as long as you agree with me to do your video, right? That's right. Do your video. Create a habit, like she said, yeah. that will change your destiny. If you like this video, any of the buttons below the video always help. Like Thank it, you for subscribe. watching. Yeah, yes. 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 comment. Right. We love you. Bye. Mwah. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I can speak Spanish with oh, a gem in an Italian Castilian accent. Castilian.